The other day while I was making the video about the lockup scene and the prisoners that were in trading places as police officers, uh, I had to go to DVD for those frames because for some reason my laptop won't let me do a screen cap from Blu-ray. So uh, I'm watching the movie on, on DVD and I spotted something that I'd never really been conscious of before. When all the other prisoners are sort of like encroaching on the Ghostbusters interested in what they're talking about, everybody getting this so far? There's one guy back there who doesn't give a crap. He is reading a magazine, steadfastly ignoring the Ghostbusters. And I thought, what is he reading? I've, I've got to know. I have got to know what he's reading. So I try to do a couple of screen grabs of it and, and blow them up. And I could make, maybe make out the word two in one corner of the cover, uh, but I couldn't make out the rest of it. Like It, it kind of looked like maybe to my actor eyes that it said to be or not to be. So, I put in the Blu-ray in the other room on a big TV and uh, was standing there with the camera right up against the screen. Now, when you do that, you're going to get like, you know, scan lines and a moiré effect and it's going to be a not the crisp photo you think it's going to be. And I wasn't even pausing, I was just letting the movie play. So, I see it and I snapped a picture and I looked at the, at the camera and I went, oh, it doesn't say to be or not to be because I googled that and I got no hits magazines 1983 1984 to be or not to be nothing was coming up i was getting oh the movie uh the mel brooks movie and even the jack benny version of that movie but i did not get to be or not to be because that's not what it said it said to die or not to die so then i typed that in and i got some hits it's the october 17th 1983 issue of newsweek so that prisoner in the background of the lockup scene of Ghostbusters is reading an article on capital punishment about a guy who was strapped into the chair, you know, to be executed and got a last minute reprieve. So yeah, that is something that a prisoner would, would want to read more than these four lunatics talking about, you know, the end of the world. I just thought, that's really cool. That, that's a nice little detail that they were like, oh, hey, here's this magazine. You just sit back there and read this and don't pay any attention to them. So still things to be uncovered and discovered. And I guess my only pet peeve about it is, A, I can't do screen grabs directly from Blu-ray, and B, now I've got another search item to enter into my eBay saved searches.